George and Charlie have a long history together. They were, at one moment in time, lovers when George was discovering who he was. Casual lovers, as far as George was concerned. But this meant a great deal more to Charlie than it did to George. Don't you ever miss this? What we could have been to each other. Having a real relationship and kids. I had Jim. No, I mean real relationship. I think the relationship that George and Charlie have um, is fascinating because I think, I think it's something that you see very, very often in life and not very often in films. I think not, not quite to this extent. Um, it's something that I've seen certainly, uh, relationships between straight women and gay men where they've become very, very close, best friends, incredibly intimate in almost every aspect of their lives, um, particularly, you know, emotionally interdependent even and then you know often what happens is the woman will fall in love with the man and not really be able to understand why the relationship can't go any farther charlie there's nothing wrong with your life you just like feeling sorry for yourself it's one of your great pleasures uh, and it's and it's not one of yours you're you're as pathetic as i am feeling sorry for myself is definitely not one of my well, great pleasures well, it's not one of mine either i don't like feeling sorry for myself one bit i tried to hold on to richard for so long even it was obvious to everyone but me that it was over and now, and now clay has grown up i mean what what am i doing here joe tell me what you have plenty of friends you'll be fine yes yes I have friends, but none of them need me, and yes, I have you, and if you were such a goddamn puff, we could have all been happy. They feel that if someone knows them that intimately, that well, then, then it's, it's almost impossible for it not to, to make the next step. You never really did take me seriously, did you, George? I tried to, Charlie, remember? A long time ago. It didn't really work out, did it? No, Charlie. The thing for me about screen acting is that you want to put yourself in a position so that you can actually have an emotion happen to you on camera. And that's the, that's the, that's the most fun thing to do, really. Kenny admires George. He wonders about George. He is curious about George, and he thinks that maybe George holds some of the answers for him. He's, he's drawn to George. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Potter. Are you going somewhere, sir? That is usually why people get into their cars. No, I, I mean, are you going on vacation or something? What? Well, I saw you cleaning out your office. He, do, he is attracted to George in that sense that he's intriguing and, he, and he's excited by him and he likes the way he thinks and his view on things, so that is the main attraction. What exactly is it that you want, Kenny? I was just hoping that perhaps we could get together for a drink or something sometime. Why is that? I don't know, sir. Because I think you might like it, and... because you seem as though you could use a friend. Oh, really? Yes, sir, you do. You may be right. George is also drawn to Kenny. He's trying to play the part, he is playing the part, of Professor. He's walled off a little bit from Kenny, but he's walled off a bit from everyone. Sit up. Tell your head back. Well, sir, I'm afraid this time you don't have the excuse of mescaline to explain your band-aid. He kind of teaches George to, to enjoy the now and just notice the little things which kind of people go through in life and you don't stop to smell the flowers. I was so lucky to have all the actors, Colin Firth, Julianne Moore, Matthew Good, Nicholas Holt. They're all such good actors 
And I like to think that they took the job or, or the part because of the screenplay. The script is a really, really great adaptation. It's definitely been very special to work on just because Tom's been, uh, he's been an excellent director and he did such a great job on the script. My estimation of Tom as a writer has, has, has been very high just because it plays so well. The thing that's been so amazing is how completely in command Tom has been, like every single step of the way, and how relaxed and joyful and um, prepared and interested in every single detail. Tom's, um, you know, because of his background, he, he's, he's been in control of large numbers of people before, and um, obviously with the, the photographic background, he, he's got a real understanding of how everything works, and the, even the first day on set, you, I, I, you wouldn't have been able to guess unless you knew that he was your first time director at all. He, he just knows what he wants. And that's really great to work, to work for someone who's like that. He's really telling a story in a, in, a, in, a, in a very personal and specific way. I think a lot of people will be surprised to see this film. They'll come in with a preconception of what I am or who I am. I'm really a romantic. I feel very isolated most of the time, like, like I think most of us do, which is maybe very different than the image uh, that I project. It's really the most personal thing that I've ever done. You know, he's an extraordinary man, and you know, his, his face looms over my hotel on a big billboard right now, and it's sort of comic because he's not the man that I was expecting to meet. I don't know what I was expecting to meet. He's very shrewd, very intelligent, charming beyond belief. I'm also amazed at how he's kept himself looking through the shoot. I mean, the directors usually fall apart physically, and to have someone that's actually better put together and more glamorous you know, behind the camera than most of the people in front of it is, is quite extraordinary. Every day, Tom has been spotless. I, I, th I thought it might drop one day, but I haven't seen him not in a perfectly crisp white shirt, the cufflinks, waistcoat. Fashion is very fleeting. Film lasts forever. And I think that a film should challenge you. I think a film should make you think. And if I can get the audience to leave the theater and think, wow, I need to pay more attention to my day because this is all I get. Then I think the film will have meant something.